Greetings, boy seekers everywhere. I'm Cav P. Welcome to my first and already highly acclaimed advice column, PUA for Women, full of real advice for real people on how to score the boy of your dreams for the night of your life. Guaranteed! My first question today comes to us from Friends Pawand. So there's this friend of mine I've had since childhood. For as long as I can remember, we've done everything together. When we were small and he fell over and hurt his knee, I took him to his dad to get patched up. That kind of thing. Now that we're both 16 and have hormones, I think that qualifies me for some action. I want to take things to the next level as his most loyal and trusted companion. But all he wants to do is keep on having fun playing video games and sharing our emotions just like we did before. He said he needs a best friend right now. Not a girlfriend. Doesn't he realize that my car will stay wet forever? Why was he being nice to me in the first place if he didn't eventually want to get it on? Oh, also his parents are getting a divorce and his brother just went into a coma and he's failing all his subjects at school despite being a straight A student. Yours sincerely, friend. Well, Franz Quant, I'm devastated to read about this. It never gets any easier to hear about young people on the cusp of womanhood being subjected to this kind of emotional blackmail. Your boy, friend, needs to understand that your company is not an act of charity, and that friendship goes both ways. If you offer him your shoulder to cry on, that's a wet shoulder you then have to deal with. If you go out and have a great time together at the arcade, playing your pinballs and your pack womans, that's money coming out of your pocket. Every act of kindness that you give to him comes at a cost. And what is he giving you back in return? Laughter? Good times? Emotional support? You're a grown woman! You don't need emotions anymore! No, front point. This is not an equal arrangement you and this boy, friend, have going on. And the only fix is... A quick wriggle at the cinema where it's quiet, dark, and socially inappropriate to make a scene. By the end of the movie, you'll know if your friendship is going anywhere. Well, that was easy. Our next question comes to us from an anonymous user on Twitter. How can you attract the attention of a boy who loves animals? What good is a boy who loves animals? That's love he could be giving to you. Still, if you like him that much, you could always pretend that you love animals too. Studies have shown that relationships founded on a careful system of lies last significantly longer than relationships where those lies are found out. And to that end, I have decided to help you. In fact, I have prepared a series of crib cards full of animal facts, trivia, conversation starters and other such hoo-ha to help you throw some disgusting vermin into any conversation. So, uh, how about them, uh, Malamutes? Don't you love the way that, uh, a female garter snake may breed with up to 100 partners, many at the same time. I find the best way to a man's heart is through, um, a tiny horse. You can download a PDF of my impossible to replicate cue cards by becoming one of my mentees on Patreon. I should point out now that I don't need your money. I just want it. Our next question today is from... Oh, no more questions. This is your cue, boy seekers. Drop me a line on at PUA for women, at Twitter or Curious Cat, or you could even drop one of those uh, YouTube comments that I keep hearing so much about. How bad could they possibly be? <laughs> uh, 
if your question is worth my time, I might even consider paraphrasing it to make a new original question that makes for better viewing. So, until next time. Good boy!